Hey YouTube, Rene here once again um, with the continuation of this pipe. The pipe itself is pretty much done. Now I'm just working on the uh, bit. Now uh, the bit itself, uh, as you guys can see, I pretty much polished it. Um, I still need, you know, some polishing to do. I don't know if you can tell, but there's still some oxidation there. This was, uh, you know, if you remember from the first video, this was really, really heavily oxidized. It was uh, quite a chore. And um, as you can see right there, there's the dab of glue that I've uh, used to make the patch to seal the hole that it had. Um, what I'm going to do now is work on that and just you know smooth that out. Uh, as you guys can see behind me right there, um, I have 800, 600, and 400 grit sandpaper as well as a uh, 4 and 600 fine um, Sanding, I'm um, sorry, sanding stick, uh, you know, compliments of uh, my wife, uh, <laughs> her nails, which, you know, she doesn't approve of me using these, but they work great, by the way, um, they're, they're really, really awesome, and, of course, then you have your trusty little um, uh, needle file, I'm sorry, uh, so, th basically, the way this works, and mind you, um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a lot of scratches on here. Um, now those scratches there, right here, right there, those scratches, unfortunately, I made those, um, and that's, you know, just trying to get it to look black, <laughs> once again, um, and I mean, it can be helped, plus I needed to do some shaping, I needed to get rid of the teeth chatter on this side as much as possible, uh, as you guys can see, there's two little dots there, which I'm going to try and work on, see if I can get those um, off completely. And uh, so, yeah, so, you know, it, it was a lot of work to, to get this um, to where it's at now, and there's still more work, like I said, but um, those scratches right there, you know, um, with this, you can pretty much, you know, work work those out, buff, buff the, all those scratches out, so, you know, you don't really have to worry too much about scratching a, um, a bit like this, because, I mean, you know, you have... A good enough, you know, amount of material to work with. So in case you do something like this, you can fix it. Um, sorry, I keep going off. Uh, off the camera almost, I'm sorry. Uh, so, the way I'm going to do this is basically you grab your needle file and you start sanding down the, um, the patch and sanding it down until you get it smooth and from that moment on it's all about you know um, starting off with the 400 and the 600 and then the 800 uh, and smoothing everything out evenly uh, and then after that what I do is I use the um, the sanding stick here uh, this is a 400 600 um, grit uh, 400 on one side 600 on the other side um, but this is a fine grit so it, this one here, it's, you know, that's why it's called Tropical Shine, because, you know, it really does puff out very nicely. <laughs> and if it can work for nails, it can work for this, let me tell you. So, and, of course, it's very inexpensive. Um, so that's one. That's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to work on this, and um, I wish I could show you guys exactly how I'm going to start. Um, I guess I could kind of see if um, I can do this on camera and mind you the thing about it is that fortunately while I I have um, purchased a uh, tripod for my camera I realized quickly on that even though now I had a tripod and I can use both hands I realized quickly that uh, yeah that wasn't everything I needed what I needed was an actual workspace <laughs> where I can put mount the uh, the tripod or just stand it um, which I don't have, unfortunately, but let me just show you guys right away the way that I do this, and as you guys can see, that's bit pretty much the way you start, and you keep going until you get a nice, um, even coat, and, you know, you're going to scratch the, um, the bit itself, you're going to scratch it, you're going to put dents on it, uh, just doing it yourself so unfortunately that cannot be helped that's just the way you know it is 
when you're trying to fix this, but you know, you can fix all that. That all, you know, whatever scratches you make on your own bit, you, you can you can fix that. So, you know, the, the, the important thing is to just not go too far. And then from that moment on, you can actually, uh, as you guys can see, it's pretty much almost even. But, you know, you gotta, what you, one of the things that you need to worry about is all these little things right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but right there, that's an edge. It's a very fine edge, but it works to your advantage to get rid of it. Uh, that way, when you completely buff it out, it uh, you can't see it anymore. So that's pretty much the way that this is going to go. And unfortunately, it's going to take you know some time. So I'm, you know I don't want to make this video too long, but that's pretty much the way you fix it. And then you know, like I say, you buff it out. Um, so I'll I'll show you the finished product. Um, you know, once I'm done here, uh, and you know, you'll see the. Um, Hopefully, uh, you won't be able to see it, but if you will, <laughs> I'll show it. You know, I'll put it on camera. If um, if I can still see it, I'll try to show it on camera. Sometimes it doesn't show on the camera, but it does, you know, to the naked eye, it does show. So hopefully, um, you know, I'll be able to, uh, hopefully, of course, I'll be able to completely um, mask the patch. Uh, but if I can't, you know, you'll see it in the... Um, last video that I'm going to make for this uh, pipe. Anyways, alright compadres, comadres. Well, that's it from me for right now. As always, thank you for watching. Y con Dios.